If then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things that are above, not on things that are on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. Okay, you see that? Set your minds on things above. Why? Not because it's some kind of ideal, idyllic or ideal state, but it's because that's where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. That's where, that's where Christ is. And where Christ is, that's where your life is. That's where the reality of who you are is. And I know this sounds all weird and, and kind of philosophical and all that kind of stuff, but it's not. It's actually very helpful because the, at this time in our history, more than any other time in the history of the world, every single government on the face of the earth is basically saying, hey, you're all mortal. And we can't do anything about it. The best thing we can do is hide. Do you hear this? The government, science, medicine, they're all saying we got nothing. The best thing we can, we can suggest to all of you is to hide. Hide. Hide from one another. Hide from being outside. Just hide. That's all we got. That's our solution to this huge worldwide problem is hide. Well, guess what? That's not actually solving the problem. I'm just making this up. Read. Hiding is not going to solve anything. We're just trying to stop the spread. Hiding doesn't solve anything. Because what, what happens when we come out of our caves? We'll spread Still it. here. So we'll die. This is not a solution. This is just admitting that we don't have a solution. Well, guess what? Death has been conquered. Eternal life is yours. Yeah, you're immortal. You're going to die. I'm going to die. Whether it's from this or something else that comes along. Whatever. I'm going to die. That's the reality. But guess what? God has done something about that. You're eternal. This can't touch you. It might destroy us physically. It might kill us. There might be millions dead. I kind of doubt it. But it might happen. But it doesn't change God in Christ and his entire plan for us, which is not death, but life. And what Paul reminds us in the book of Hebrews also reminds us is that's who you really are. That's who you really are. And it's hard. It is so hard for me personally as well. It is so hard to not think that this world is reality because it seems awful real, but we're always being pushed to really, really, really focus on what God has done for us in Christ and see that as the definition of our life. 